Hello, this is Ricardo Francis, the Venting Vigilante. It's good to be with you again today. Today we're going to talk about engagement party. Yes, after the engagement, you need to have a party. You need to celebrate. You need to celebrate your precondition to get married. Generally, the, the parents, of course, traditionally will be the one that plan the engagement party. But in contemporary times, the couple themselves or their friends or some relative may take uh, the responsibility to, to do so. You, they, of course, may create a venue. They have a list of all the guests they're going to invite, why they're going to invite these guests, and who sits where and with whom based upon how formal it is, or it could be very informal. It could be just held at the parent's house or the friend's house or whatever the case may be. And uh, they basically, you get together to celebrate, to say, well, whether it be Tom and um, Ingrid or Tom and Jane, Charlie and um, Janet, and uh, whatever your lifestyle choices may be, whoever is getting married in terms of celebrating. You have an engagement party, of course. There will be, you know, you may sit around, you may drink, you eat, you may uh, make announcements, so you may say good things about uh, either person, because you may know them under different circumstances. You know them from work, you know them from, uh, from school. Of course, it may be the first time that the extended families are meeting, some of the friends are meeting for the first time. The, both parents, uh, the parents of the bride and the parents of the groom may be meeting for the first time. So there are all these different considerations to be taken place in terms of an engagement party. So friends, an engagement party is also big business because quite often you may have a wedding planner that is involved. You may rent a venue. You may order food. So it is, all these things are stimulating the economy, my friends. Friends, so in this way, shape or form, a determination may be made from the engagement party. Hmm. Do I really want to invite this particular individual to the wedding? Or in some cases, some people may come to the engagement party, but they do not want to come to the wedding. So, at least you, they would have already come, and in some cases, they bring gifts. Yes, there is an expectation that you should bring a gift at an engagement party. There isn't a law that says you have to do that. You're not under any legal obligation to do so. Maybe there is a moral obligation. Maybe you may feel some sense of obligated to maybe bring some wine. You may bring some champagne. You may even buy a gift card, whatever the circumstances of the case may be, based upon your own personal choices and your, of course, your historical relationship and uh, with this, these particular people who are celebrating their, their engagement. That is the you know the bride and groom. So friends, it's a it's a celebratory moment. The engagement party, they play wonderful music, they eat and they drink and they get married. Friends, I love you. I love sharing these moments with you. I love you. See you next time.